In the afterglow of two motorsports monuments, the legendary races issue of Racer, on sale now, presents 41 pages that go inside the glory and heartbreak of the Indianapolis 500 and the 24 Hours of Le Mans. We begin with the 100th running of the greatest spectacle in racing, the Indianapolis 500. As an event, it was worthy of its centenary billing, and as a race, produced a surprise victor that no one would begrudge. Racer editor Mark Glendening goes inside the victory by young American Alexander Rossi, who earned his place in history by running clean and executing a brilliant team strategy in Man of the Century. Snapshot looks back at the 500 through the lens of several photographers who capture the emotion, ambiance, and majesty of the race's 100th edition. Plus, we break down all the stats and numbers from the race and get to know Verizon IndyCar chief starter Paul Blevin, who takes us through his day on the flag stand at the Brickyard. Moving on to Le Mans, Night Terrors chronicles the crosstown battle between Dearborn-based Ford and Detroit-based Corvette through the beautiful images of photographer Camden Thrasher and words of Marshall Pruitt. In summer of 69, veteran sports car writer Gary Watkins sets the context for Ford's victorious return to Le Mans by taking a look back at the GT40 and its incredible run of dominance from 1966 through 69. Watkins returns with hope and heartbreak. If Hollywood had scripted the end to the prototype battle at the 24 hours of Le Mans, it wouldn't have been credible. But this is the true story of how Toyota had victory snatched from their hands in the final minutes of what had been a ferocious battle with Porsche from the players who lived it. Finally, Marshall Pruitt speaks with four veteran Le Mans drivers who tell us how, despite the variety of cars and the cutting edge technology present, the fundamentals of competing at Le Mans never change in Tricks of the Trade. Within the same period as the legendary races of Indianapolis and Le Mans, a new venue appeared on the Formula One calendar at Baku in Azerbaijan. Formula One correspondent Ed Straw asks the question, does tradition play a role in the sport's future in identity crisis? Elsewhere in the legendary races issue, NASCAR correspondent Tom Jensen discovers how Furniture Row Racing and driver Martin Truex Jr. are taking it to the bigger squads in The Little Team That Does. Richard S. James looks at how the GTA class of the Pirelli World Challenge puts the non-pro drivers right up against the pros while still retaining their own title battle in Swimming with the Big Fish. We also meet sports car driver Christina Nielsen get a long look at the new USF 2000 Tatus USF 17 race car and discover the reason for being behind the Scuderia Glickenhaus SCG 003. The legendary races issue of Racer is on sale now, available at many Barnes & Noble stores, or visit racer.com to subscribe.